We all have a technique that is missing or that needs a little tweaking. And when we find that little piece where we are lacking, we instantly see our skills jump up a few levels. For example, once we understand how water affects the kayak when it's on edge, we can use that to turn effortlessly instead of working against the kayak. When we understand how the wind pushes the kayak, we can tweak our technique to let the wind do the work and not only turn fast, but also save our shoulders from pain or long-term injury. When we understand the principle of how a kayak turns, we can apply a bow stroke that turns the kayak around quickly and gracefully instead of looking like a novice. The important thing to remember is that it's not how much you practice, but the quality of what you practice. After focusing on a few techniques, you can maneuver your kayak quickly if you need to and be there quickly to help someone get back in their kayak after a capsize. You can now be seen as an asset to the group instead of the kayaker who needs to be towed back because you're not in control of your kayak. In the results of the survey, a lot of you are asking about how to be more comfortable edging the kayak without feeling like you will tip over. And I will go over that in the third video. Another popular question had to do with turning without losing speed and wasting energy. I will help you with that in the second video. And in this presentation, I want to give you a crucial tip that will help you make your turns much faster and more efficient. I often see people trying to do a bow rudder and it's just not working for them. And it's just because they're missing this one important step. You may think that you need years of practice. And let me tell you that what you really need is just a few techniques and the easy steps to master them. I wasted a lot of years to learn these key skills, but you don't have to. This series of videos will give you the most important skills so that you are not wasting your time practicing what doesn't work and missing the most important details. Let me start with a simple and easy to learn technique. If you don't apply this step, you will be struggling to do a bow stroke and you won't understand why it feels like the bow just doesn't want to move over. You will exert a lot of force trying to unlock the bow and you may feel the strain on your shoulders or even give yourself a long-term injury, especially if you're trying to turn a long expedition kayak. In this presentation, you will learn why turning your kayak effortlessly always starts with the stern, even if you're doing a bow draw. First, let me tell you a short story. When I was 19, driving my first car on a snowy side road on Christmas Day, I started playing with sliding the back end back and forth. It was fun because I had complete control of it. A slight turn of the steering wheel and the car would turn sideways a little. I would move it back to one side, bring it back with a slight move of the steering, and then let it swing gently to the other side with almost no movement with the steering wheel. And then it went a little too far and started swinging back and forth a little more each time until the car spun around out of control, turned 180 degrees and slid right into the ditch. Luckily, the ditch was full of new soft snow. No damage was done. Even more lucky was that across the street there was a Christmas party going on and seeing what had happened, a dozen guys came out of the house, picked up my little car and put it right back on the road. If you don't want to struggle to turn your kayak and you don't want to hit rocks because you can't get out of the way fast enough and you don't want to look like a beginner who has to work hard to get your kayak to respond to you, then you need to learn to focus on sliding the rear of the kayak, not trying to move the front. When your kayak is moving forward, you probably noticed it's creating a wave. It's basically pushing the water and moving it out of the way. This creates the effect of anchoring the bow, and it's like the water is holding it in place, making it harder to move it to the side. And that's why a bow stroke is not effective, until you first get the stern moving to the side. The stern, or rear of the kayak, is not pushing any water, and it's free to slide to the side with just a little help. Now is the time to apply the bow stroke. As with the car on the snow, now that the rear is moving, just a slight pressure on the bow will effortlessly cause the kayak to turn quickly, as if on its own. Now you have serious leverage, and you need very little energy to make your kayak turn around almost automatically. And that's the little secret that makes the elite kayaker in control, whereas the beginner is not. Here's a simple little exercise you can do 
to learn to get that stern moving to the side with as little effort as possible. Remember, until you get this part right, practicing any bow turning stroke with an expedition kayak is just a waste of time. Here's how to do it. Step 1. Paddle forward and get some speed. You want to have some pressure on the bow for this. Step 2. Edge your kayak and do a sweep stroke on the same side. What you want to do here is get the stern of the kayak to slip to the side. Step 3. Once you know the stern is slipping to the side, stay on edge and paddle forward normally. If your stern is slipping and you have some pressure on the bow, your kayak should keep turning even though you're paddling equally on both sides. The faster you go, the more pressure on the bow and the more the stern will slip. You will learn more techniques later that will make this much, much more effective. But for now, just focus on noticing when the stern is slipping. How do you know when the stern is slipping? You need to develop a feel for this. This is what it looks like when the back is sliding to the side. And here is how it looks when it is not. The important thing is to learn to tell the difference for yourself while you're practicing. You need to know this because once you have the stern slipping, you don't need to do any more sweeps. And you are ready to apply another stroke that will turn your kayak much faster and with less energy than if you did another sweep. If you watch a beginner, they will often turn with one sweep stroke following another, and they have no idea that they could let the kayak do the work for them. And when you get this, you will instantly look more in control, more like you're maneuvering your kayak effortlessly. Kayaking will become much more pleasant for you, because it feels like it's responding to your commands, instead of you having to force it to turn like a car with power steering. When you learn this one tip, you will instantly look more graceful in your turning, feel more in control, and turn even your loaded kayak with ease. Like driving a car on the snow, the rear is easier to move, and if you do it right, a slight movement of the steering or a bow stroke will result in an effortless, almost magic-like turn. If you don't learn this crucial lesson, you'll be trying to learn a bow draw, and no matter how much you practice, you will never reach the same effectiveness. You will always look like a beginner trying to get better and more practice will not help. Now, you may be thinking that this technique doesn't work so well in a rough and windy day. And you're right. I will cover what to do when the wind's pushing you around all over the place in a different video. In the next video, I will show you how to apply this technique followed with a bow draw so that you can quickly turn your kayak and avoid hitting an obstacle. As you probably know, it's important to edge your kayak to turn faster. And in the third video, I'll show you how to get comfortable on edge, so that you don't have to worry about tipping over and going for a swim when you need to do a quick turn. Please leave a comment below if you want to let me know what you think, or if you have a question. And if you enjoyed this video, click here to sign up, or the sign up button below. And I'll let you know by email when the next video is ready for you. And thanks for watching.